All right, so I just noticed that um, this car has been uh, sitting in our driveway for you know a few weeks, um, and I tried to start. See, nothing. It's nothing happening. I'm trying to turn, nothing happening. So I figure uh, let's do a video on how to jump start a car. Shall we? Right. Jump start a car. You need to open the hood, which we learned the other day, right? So, what is this? Um, battery. Okay, battery has um. positive and negative, right? So, what we need to do is we need to connect to a different car that has a battery and that's fully charged to jump start this car. So, first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in other car and uh, we actually got the jump start cable. So, here's the cable. We're gonna use this cable. By the way, this is our emer emergency kit. So look at this, it has everything. It has uh, oh, the dryer pressure, we got some, you know, look at this. We got some duct tape. Oh, look, we got some, you know, lights. Um, look at here. There is uh, some other supplies like a light, uh, you know, emergency light. See all that? Okay. Open the hood and you know the trick, right? What to do? Yeah, right. Do it. Let's do it. Push it. Is this the right thing? Nope. It's right here. Oh. So I'm gonna... Right. Okay, and you're gonna put that. Uh... Oh, I can't pull it out. Right. Put it right there. Uh, it's right here. See yeah. right here, the side, the square. Oh. Yep. It's going right here. And it gets locked. All right. So first of all, we have to move the car kind of side by side right so because the cable is only so long so let's see check it out if we can go all the way or not right it's uh, long enough right yeah. all right so what we're gonna do first we're gonna come back here and we need to make sure before we connect to the this battery that's like in a running car we need to make sure that we keep the cable it has to be apart because it's a positive negative. If you get it, if you touch that while it's connected here, it's gonna create some sparks and that's not good. It's gonna also kind of make this battery go bad. So we don't wanna do that. Make sure it keep apart. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here and we're also gonna look at here positive and negative. So first one I'm gonna connect the positive. Yes, but wait for, don't connect there, right? All right, so here's a positive, here's a negative. Make sure you're keeping this to far apart. Then let's gonna go, okay, keep, keep. so always positive, uh, show me, keep it up. So positive, you gotta be really, really careful because everything, like all the metal in the car, it's gonna connect it to a negative charge, right? So. Garby, make sure that this is always keep it as uh, far as possible. I'm gonna connect, this is the negative. So I'm gonna connect right here and make sure it's uh, secure. I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna go right, right in here. So it's already stretching a little bit. Okay. Right. What we need to do is we need to start this car. You don't want to jump start all the the good battery is draining. You want to make sure that when you have a car on, it's charging, and then we're gonna start the other car. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go in another car. You gotta open it before I touch it. Our, which has a battery problem right now. And I kind of let it charge for a couple minutes. Now I'm gonna char try to start this car. All right, first of all, see before the, none of the lights were turning on. Now at least that's on. And let me check the window. Yeah, see, that's working too. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start this car.
There you go. Start of the car. Jump started this car. All right. Now, before we do anything else, one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna let this car running. We're gonna come here. We're gonna disconnect this. Right there. Again, remember the, the positive and negative has to be apart. So no, go hold this, hold this here. Yeah. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna go in this car. And we're gonna disconnect same way. All right, take this out. And there you go. All right, so both cars are disconnected now. And this car is running, but we don't need it. So we're gonna turn this, this off. But we're gonna leave this car running for extra, like, you know, maybe like 15, 20 minutes. So make sure it gets charged, the battery gets fully charged. All right, so we turn it off. Uh, we actually didn't wait uh, for too long because you had a question. So what was your question? Um, what if you don't have a second car? Okay. That's where this this device comes handy. All right, so nowadays uh, you can find this in uh, you know, online or a lot of stores. And let's open Amazon? up. Yeah, Amazon too. All right, so see this device? It's, it's, it's a battery charger, so you can use it to charge your cell phone. Uh, it's a power bank, right? But it has some added feature where you can actually connect to the car to do a jump start. Right? Alright, let's hold this and take a look. See something similar? Uh, similarity? Yeah. The let's, positive and negative. Exactly. Alright, so let's connect this part first. So this part is going to go right here. Like that. And we're going to connect. Alright, there you go. Now we have positive, we have negative, so positive is going to go with the positive. Alright. Still a bit so we can reach that the wire cable is pretty small in this case. And it's going to go here. Alright, and let's move everything away. Alright, else? Like this. Alright. I have one more question. Sure. How do you know it's charging? Is it like a light or something? Uh, in this case, th there's no light, but at least I can see that it's fully charged when I press the power button. See, there's all these lights are um, on, like the blue lights. That means it's fully charged. If it wasn't fully charged, it's not going to help. You know, you got to have this always fully charged. Now, if you connect uh, positive to negative, if you kind of switch it, uh, you made a, you know, a mistake. This device, now that they have, uh, now these days they have a uh, fail safe. So it will actually start making noise and say we got a wrong cable or a wrong connection. So we gotta fix it, but not like other car. Like if you connect two cars and if you reverse the cable, it's gonna actually create a problem in other car. Yeah. All right. So so we're gonna go ahead and give it uh, a try. Start again uh, and see how it go, how it goes. Okay. Connected. All right. There you go. See, without uh, second car. And now we started making noise because it started and now it's telling us to take it out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna take this out. And there you go. Now we're gonna disconnect that. Let's pull it, hold it. We're gonna Leave this car running and let it charge. Once it's charged, we, we should be good to go. All right, so you, what, what did you learn today? How, um, two ways how to um, charge, jump start a different car that's like... Yep, it's having a problem. All right, so we're gonna close this hood and let it charge and uh, we'll come back and uh, check again. But believe me, it'll be good now because it's charging now. 